Seafarers and shore personnel continue to be injured or killed during mooring operations. In the five P&I policy years to 2021, there were 858 injuries and 31 fatalities during mooring operations. The ISM code, the safe working practices for merchant seafarers and the OCIMF mooring equipment guidelines have helped to tackle technical aspects of mooring operations. This video focuses on the human factors and influences on human performance in the lead up to and during mooring operations. Everyone involved needs to be confident about what is happening. Individual experience levels and abilities should be known and understood by all involved in the operation. If there are any doubts about the operation or procedure, ask for clarification. Plans can change at short notice and require a dynamic response. It is important that time is taken to reassess the risks to ensure that operations can still be performed safely and with sufficient resource. Your professional experience is invaluable, but don't disregard best practice because you've never seen or been involved in an incident on the mooring deck before. When there are lots of jobs to be done in a fast-moving, stressful environment, you may automatically rush to do tasks quickly. It can result in losing situational awareness and overlooking important safety precautions.
Pressure from others can result in stress, leading to poor decision-making and safety-critical steps being missed. Masters should feel empowered to use their overriding authority when there are legitimate safety concerns. The company's culture must allow and encourage everyone, regardless of rank or experience, to speak up when in doubt. In the 5 P&I policy years to 2021, there were 858 injuries and 31 fatalities during mooring operations. Stop. Think. Stay alive. How would you prevent these situations happening on your ship?